I'll just click on the back here. I'll take it down so that you can hear me. Um, when we're talking, you just forget the camera and just look at me the whole time. All right. And let's start on the record with your first and last name. Okay, I'm David Carter. And um, so you sent us an email, I guess, out of frustration of things that you're dealing with. Can you tell me why you sent uh, problem solvers the, the email and, and what your issue is? Yeah, I was trying to do our taxes online using uh, e-file on the IRS uh, website, and they require information from a ID card which is fine for me, but I don't have a card for my wife. I tried to contact the DMV, but the only way that I got through was to do it online. Uh, I could not get an appointment to get an ID card until June, which is too late to file taxes. So it's kind of a catch-22. And so going through this, what, what's been the experience? Is it frustrating? Is it, I mean, a lot of people are asking the questions like, why can't we open up PMB more? I mean, do you, uh, what's your feeling about that, that you have to wait so long? Well, I don't understand why they even need information from an ID card. I mean, we're residents of Virginia, so... Uh, and, the, and again, the biggest challenge or the biggest obstacle that you've run into for this particular situation is what? Well, the time involved. What do you want the, the folks at DMV to, to know? What, what are you hoping for uh, that could happen out of this? Well, it's, uh, you know, being uh, a couple of months out trying to get an appointment, uh, that kind of leaves you hanging. But, uh, it's, uh, it seems like uh, things could be worked faster than that. Did you think it was going to take so long when you, um, when you realized, like, oh, we need this ID or for her? No. When, if you, the longer you, don't, you go without having the ID, what, how, what is that, how does that hold you up in terms of um, not having the ID holds you up not only for your taxes, but people also need to file their taxes to get their stimulus. So is there kind of a trickle-down effect to this? I'm sorry, I don't really understand your question. You need the ID to get the um, your taxes done. You have to have filed your taxes to get this. The oh yeah, you're talking about the uh, the, the uh, extra income that the, the federal government's providing. Yeah, uh, because we we've got the first uh, supplement, uh, the second one we have not gotten, or the third one. Uh, so. Uh, as part of the tax return, they put on there what you've received so far and what you haven't. So that's another reason to try to get the taxes in. Is there something that you would want the governor to know um, <laughs> about the, I mean, a, a lot of people, we get a lot of emails from people that are just so frustrated that, you know, well, we can have a thousand people shopping in a Walmart, why can't we have a DMV open so we can take care of essential business like an ID card and things like that. And of course it kind of goes back to where we are in Virginia in terms of things opening up because of COVID. Um, do you, I mean, do you think we're at a point now where it could be open a little more so that people like you could get those things done? Well, I don't understand why, you know, it would really take that long, why they would be that busy uh, it, uh, of course, I, I guess things really got backed up during the pandemic, but they were especially being closed, and it just takes a while to work through the the results. Now, here's your chance to say something to the people at DMV. <laughs> what, do, what do you want them to know when they see this story tonight? What What is the message you would hope that they could take away from your story? Well, it would be nice to be able to talk to a person rather than having to to uh, go through online, and it's, it's, it's just difficult to do. And it's frustrating.
frustrating because some people are, some people want to get that person. You don't want to try to figure out, oh, did I punch the wrong button? Did I hit the wrong option? Sometimes it's just nice to get a person, right? Well, that's the way it is with so many of these companies. They've got a menu system that you have to go through to even finally get to talk to a person. And if you could just get in touch with, with someone uh, quicker, you could explain your situation and then they could tell you whether they could provide any help or not. Make a, make a difference. Well, we're going to uh, try to uh, work quickly and get, you know, get your name to the people at DMV and hopefully there's a way they can you know, expedite and help you out. Um, and so we'll definitely pass along your phone number and your email and hoping that they can step it up for you. Um, yeah, I would certainly appreciate that. It, it, it would help.